Have you ever wanted to play Only Up but really enjoy Minecraft? Well, in this video, we're going to be learning how we can download a Java map of Only Up, convert it over to Bedrock, and see whether you can complete it or come tumbling down. So, we're going to need two things for this. First of all, it's going to be the map itself. You can find this on Planet Minecraft by either searching for it, or the link will be somewhere in the description of this video. Click on the map for Only Up in Minecraft. This is of course a Java map, but it doesn't matter because we're going to convert it over. So click on Download Minecraft Map. It's going to download, and I do apologise about this <laughs> the slightly misspelt bad language. Either way, that's all we need here. Next up, we're going to need to head to the Microsoft Store where you're going to download JE2BE with this particular logo right here. This is going to be a converter and it's going to be super useful. This works for any map, pretty much any world as well between Java and Bedrock. Of course, I've got open. You go ahead and install and open it. However, we now need to convert this zipped folder into a Bedrock world. I'm just going to cut that from my downloads list and I'm going to go to my desktop where I've created an empty folder. You can do this wherever and just paste it in here. If you double click on the zipped file, it's going to open up the files within that zip. I'm now going to drag this back into that empty folder to unzip it. Once that's all done, go ahead, close down the zipped folder so you can then delete the zipped folder as well. We don't need that anymore. We got the level right here. So I'm now going to copy my unzipped folder, which is my world. And of course, I'm going on the assumption that you do have Java installed as of the summer where everybody got Java or Bedrock for free. Um, you, you you probably should have both version. If you don't check in case that is still the case and you still can have Java for free. One way to do this if you haven't got Java is simply uh, making sure that you still have your folder with everything in it that's not unzipped. If I double click on this, you can see it's got all the world files there. We can then log into JE2BE and go to select from other directories. I'm going to go to my desktop, map transfer, and here I can also find that. So highlight the folder itself and then select folder. Click start. Anything will happen. We're going to go to the bottom search bar. We're going to do a percentage mark app data then percentage mark again to take us to this particular folder. From here, click on dot Minecraft, and then we're gonna come down to saves, which is where all your world folders are for Java. Here, right click and paste the world into it. Obviously I've already got that, so I'm gonna delete that old one. So I've only got the one that we just downloaded now. Now close this down, we can close this down too, and we're gonna open up JE2BE. Search for it in the search bar, click it to open, and it's very simple to use. We're simply gonna go Java to Bedrock, and you can see it in your list because we added it to the uh, Java save, so it's actually in a world file. If we were to open up Java, we could then play it. Just a little note here, there will be some random command blocks or things like that, because this does work in Java with command Commands. Unfortunately, the commands don't come over to Bedrock so nicely. So level's still there, but you don't have the commands that they've set up. Select this, go to next. Directory structure vanilla, that is fine. So we're going to press start and we're going to get started with everything now, converting the chunks over, post processes, and the, of course, the level DB database compaction. You can save into Minecraft Bedrock folder. Um, however, this wasn't working for me. This could be because potentially this was done for the previous uh, Minecraft launcher and I'm using the new one. Um, if not, just do it export as an MC world file. So I'm going to save this now to my desktop or somewhere that you remember basically. Save that down. Once the process is finished, click OK to close this down as well and head on over to the folder that you saved it at. It's going to appear as a little Minecraft image right here. So let's double click this and open it up. Now as Minecraft loads up and then we start on our play screen, it's going to say that it's going to start the level import. Um, hopefully that will all come successfully. But there we go, all done successfully. Now if we press play, we're going to find it on our list. It's going to look greyed out because we haven't actually played it yet. Uh, once we join, you're going to find that it's not going to be greyed out and it's going to be the actual map. So very exciting. Haven't actually played it myself. I've seen there's a few good reviews on this and the level actually looks really good. I've had a good little fly up and down just to check. So guys, here we are. We have loaded in. We've got the level all around us now. Just beware, of course, stuff like uh, commands aren't the same in Java as they are in Bedrock. So most of the time they won't work. OK, they do for this, but, you know, other commands may not work quite so well. However, if I go over and put myself in creative, you're going to see that we are in Bedrock and we've downloaded the entire map all the way to the skies. So again, just to mention, this way you can download and change any Java map for planet Minecraft to Bedrock and play on it. If you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can check out my next video, which is going to be the top 10 Minecraft plugins. There you're going to find an awesome list of different plugins that you can use for your server that still work with the latest version now.